So it seems that we may have the identity of the mystery codex leaks just a little bit early. Let's take a look at some partially assembled print and pages that seem to imply that we might be getting a book for the agents of the Imperium. Hello and welcome back to War Specs Tactics, where today we're talking about bits of codex. It seems that someone's been around one of the Chinese factories where the codexes get printed with a camera phone and leak some pictures to the internet. Pretty interesting stuff here that looks like it might well be an Agents of the Imperium Codex, though it isn't really confirmed at this point. But it is going to be interesting to see exactly how they decide to go about realising that it will be a release unlike most of the rest of the army books. This all comes on the backdrop of Games Workshop's Codex reveal schedule. We know that the Spring Codexes are going to be Dark Angels, which we've already had, and then Orcs, Custodies, Tau and Chaos Space Marines. The Tau Codex going up for sale via that Crute Hunting Party box just this weekend. Feel free to check out the links down in the video description if you were trying to purchase that. A few of them might be able to get you that at a discount. In summer though, they confirmed that there'd be Codex Genes to the Colts and Codex Adeptus Sororitas, and then they absolutely teased us with this redacted codex file, which I feel like regardless of its actual outcome in the end, it's a pretty smart marketing stunt by Games Workshop, as it's just made everyone speculate as to exactly what that codex might be, though there's absolutely no guarantee it might be anything other than one of the other 40k codexes that we haven't had yet. It's certainly got people talking about the possibility of it being Emperor's Children, Dark Mechanicus, or something else weird and wonderful, though it seems that there's at least a possibility that it could be an Agents of the Imperium Codex, given this leak. I feel like that might well tie in with the fact that it's redacted. The Inquisition are kind of known for all that. The leak itself is a pretty unusual one. It seems like it's come from Games Workshop's printers with partially assembled books. It's very unusual for content to leak this way. We very rarely see actual copies of things being printed, shared online. It far more commonly tends to be actual books that have been distributed, and someone's gone through the book with a camera phone and shared a whole bunch of pictures online. According to the internet, I believe that these are called signatures, essentially inserts of groups of pages that are going to be bound up into one big rule book. The first couple of pictures on the top left and the top right are apparently for Age of Sigmar 4th edition, some pages talking about the mortal realms, and perhaps featuring some artwork of some Cities of Sigmar versus Skaven, I want to say. All very interesting, and that's basically a bit of an open secret now. I guess Games Workshop will officially announce Age of Sigmar 4th edition at Adepticon. Besides that though, there was one that didn't fit in with those two themes. There's also a copy of a really big spread of Warhammer 40k pages thrown into the mix, and it does look very intriguing. My guess is that these are probably unofficial leaks, and aren't just Games Workshop doing some sort of 4D chess marketing type thing, but that does always get speculated about when you get slightly unusual leaks like this. Is this just all part of the hype train to have the community discussing what's next coming from Games Workshop? Or is this someone who just wanted to share some fun cool stuff from behind the scenes? In any case, zooming in to that Agent of the Imperium content, it basically looks like it's four double pages out of a book, focusing on different aspects of the Inquisition and other Imperial agents. There aren't any rules or model pictures here, it's all lore stuff. Most of the text is far too far away and too blurry to read, but you can make out the titles. One says the Book of the Warp with Banish the Demon, all dressed up like a bit of an imperial edict of some sort. And other than that, you can just about make out there's one page talking about navigators, the psychers who are used to guide the void ships through the warp, and the rogue traders, individuals trusted to map out unexplored space and potentially go about exploiting and harvesting what they find for the good of the Imperium. Otherwise, the artwork from the other pages looks like it's very imperial. There's little cherubs and things, and various other imperial skulls and creepiness. Maybe the other most interesting thing are the pictures on the bottom left. It looks to me like that's an Inquisitor in power armour, I'd guess. There's certainly some Inquisitorial items and sigils and things on the other person in the picture. The shield doesn't really look a million miles away from the blade guard ones, but I'd guess it's an inquisitorial one. There are at least some miniatures that do have those kind of shields. Obviously the exact content of this isn't 100% confirmed what it is yet, though it does seem that by far the most likely thing is the lore sections from an Agents of the Imperium Codex. That would easily make the most sense for having the Inquisition, Navigators and the Rogue Traders all together in the same section. That is the umbrella that they fall under. 
I guess the other possibilities would be some sort of other publication that isn't necessarily a codex, maybe a campaign book, I guess perhaps technically a white dwarf, though it doesn't really strike me as a magazine sort of excerpt, much more actual printed text and pages. Codex Agents of the Imperium is something that is kind of expected for 10th edition, though out of any of the codexes it's likely to be the most different one to any of the rest. Previously they've generally been in things like supplement books or campaign books or extra releases, though they did have a full Codex Imperial Agents back in 7th edition, the one that you can see pictured now, though I think that that was fairly rapidly outdated by the release of 8th. We basically know the main focus of the book is to be all the things that are in the Agents of the Imperium index document right now, so Inquisitors and their henchmen and support models like the Joe Cairo, the four assassins of Vindicare, Calidus, Calexus and Eversaw, the rogue traders and their voidsman style kill team-ish kit that they have, and then the other squads they've released for the Imperium, the Adeptus RBTs and the Navy Breachers. Games Workshop's trend in recent years has generally been that if they don't sell a box set very clearly labelled as the actual unit name, they don't tend to offer it as an option for other armies, unfortunately, so I think that, that makes it less likely to see things like Inquisitorial Chimeras or Stormtroopers and things coming back. Though I feel like if you actually wanted to release a properly supported Imperial Agents book, I think it would be very, very nice to be able to take other fluffy things for the faction that they've been able to use in the past, have access to things like their own dedicated rhinos, chimeras, and perhaps make use of things like the Militarum Tempestus Scions from the Guard Codex, maybe. As I mentioned, I did think it was kind of likely that we would get this book release for 10th edition, given that it's one of the major indexes, and we've now got to the point where they do have enough units that it's not just going to be a complete joke of a publication rules-wise. It still probably is going to be a bit thin compared with other factions, though. I guess we'll certainly get reprints of the stuff that they had in the standard Agents of the Imperium Index right now, their allied rules for fielding alongside Imperial units, and I think it would be really interesting if they did give them some sort of own detachment to allow a bit more support for a core Agents of the Imperium army list, even if it isn't really supposed to be a major faction in Warhammer 40k like the rest. I think no one's really expecting the Agents of the Imperium to be carrying their full weight against other armies. They just don't really have the certain tools they need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with for fledged outright armies, like dedicated anti-tank firepower and things. Even if the last balance update and errata did actually technically allow you to legally field them with no rule support. I think if they did do a detachment, it'd be really fun to see just like a bit of stratagem and enhancement access for things like the Assassins with the Vindicare's special rounds they can fire and perhaps some enhancements for the Inquisitors, as they're sort of like nominal leaders of the army, you'd kind of expect a bit more customization than they have, perhaps. I feel like you could genuinely make a pretty interesting detachment with the current 40k detachment system. You could have it where all the stratagems and special rules support agents of the Imperium type units, but then have some detachment special rules that allow you some special allies included. Could literally be as simple as, say, you can, say, take up to half your force as Space Marines or Guard or similar. Or if they thought that was a bit too free-range and unrestricted, maybe you could limit it to things like certain fluffy units like Death Watch Kill Teams or Allied Grey Knights. Seems like that could be interesting enough on paper. It probably wouldn't be actually as strong as fielding those armies in their own codexes, seeing as they wouldn't get supporting stratagems or special rules or things, or that would be for the actual Inquisition-type units. I feel like this is the sort of army where they don't need to be massively competitively balanced or whatever versus the field. They just want some fun fluffy rules that can allow you to field an army in-game, even if they're not super tournament optimised or whatever. Otherwise, it might just be as simple as a mostly reprint of the index rules, maybe with a detachment or two if we're lucky. But it is kind of interesting to think of what else they might choose to do with it if they wanted to. In general, codexes in 9th and 10th edition have generally come out with at least one miniature for the faction, often a character miniature if they're not getting a major release. One of the ones that has been rumoured for a while is Inquisitor Kotiaz, who is perhaps a fairly iconic character from the lore, but has an old fine cast model. I feel like for the Inquisition it would probably be him, Karamazov, or maybe a just generic standard Inquisitor that might be the most useful ones to have. I feel like Kotiaz is at the forefront of the likelihood though, given that he had a rather major tease at the ends of the Arcs of Omen series, which was clearly a series written with model releases very much in mind, given featuring Angron and the Lion and everything. It was just a random couple of pages aside of Inquisitor Kotiaz tracking the events and deciding that he'd be activating a whole bunch of Inquisitorial assets. 
To me, that rather heavily implied that he might be getting a miniature on the way. Games Workshop often tends to take characters to the forefront of the lore when they're getting a model release. Otherwise, I'm kind of interested to see if they do anything to try and incorporate the militant wings of the Inquisition. In particular, I feel like Death Watch would be kind of nice to be able to work closely with the Ordo Xenos. Maybe a little bit more than they can at the moment. They certainly can make some fluffy, interesting armies. Death Watch feel like the army that's perhaps the smallest and least updated faction that might well get tied in with Inquisition somehow. Grey Knights and the Adeptus Sororitas for the other wings of the Inquisition they tend to work with. They feel like perhaps more established armies that are less likely to get any sort of role in to a different book. Currently, if there's any one faction that's perhaps most likely to get reinterpreted somehow in Warhammer 40k, it's probably Death Watch. It does seem that they're the least most popular army collected, and they've received very little miniature support for quite a long time. They've only got this Primaris upgrade sprue, and they're the only chapter that hasn't got a Primaris miniature released, at least out of the main ones and major divergent ones. I'm not saying that it could necessarily even mean that their rules change that much, just feels like you could perhaps incorporate Death Watch into the Inquisition Codex as well, keep a lot of their detachment rules the same, and hopefully keep a bunch of their data sheets. Obviously any sort of big Death Watch release would be really cool. In particular, I think it would be very nice to see their standard veteran units reinterpreted in Primaris form, which is likely to happen at some point or other. I feel like until that happens, they might just continue to be a bit of an afterthought for Games Workshop, and it would be really nice to see them get extra support. Either way, even if they weren't going down the route of trying to consolidate armies and codexes, it'd be very cool to see Death Watch kill teams usable in some way alongside Inquisition and the other agents a bit more than they are currently. I feel like in the lore you might more often have Death Watch operators, small units or small formations in support of other armies rather than big sprawling battle formations that you might get in 40k more currently. Though I'm a bit dubious as to whether or not that would actually happen, I guess they still have plenty of content for the Agents of Imperium Codex if they are indeed releasing one sometime soon. And so far with the codexes they've shown off at the start of 10th edition, it does seem that all indications are they're just going to get a supplement book kind of similar to say Dark Angels or Blood Angels and the like. Otherwise I feel like there's arguments that they might have removed or consolidated the index with the Agents when 10th edition first came out, as they did with the Harlequins and the Eldari. Let me know what you think though, I feel like a book release like this could definitely have a lot of interest in trying to reinterpret the Inquisition and the Death Watch into a new form. It would be very cool just to see an Inquisitorial centric army supported by their militant wings, even if it's not a super tall and optimised thing or anything like that, just as a fun fluff faction that people can put on the table. In any case though, look forward to hearing your thoughts on the leak. Do you think it does indeed represent an Agents of the Imperium Codex? And if so, do you think that that Agents of the Imperium Codex is indeed the mystery codex that Games Workshop had redacted? Look forward to hearing all your thoughts down in the comments below, as per always. I guess there's certainly a possibility we might hear a bit more in one of Games Workshop's previews sometime, and if and when I do, I'll be sure to cover it on the channel. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that Auspex Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that linked in the video description if you'd like to help support and keep the videos coming. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description below. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.